long as Nipsey Hussle been dead, ain't now nigga picked up the marathon. R.I.P. Nip. R.I.P. Nip. Eric Holder still alive. Eric Holder still alive. Eric Holder still alive. But they praising King Von. See, they love King Von, but ain't nobody picked up the marathon. Ah, say, 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 can I say, can I say it again? They love King Von, but ain't nobody picked up the marathon. The marathon died when Nip died. When, when Nipsey Hussle kicked him in the head. I'm sorry. When, when, when City Cuz kicked him in the head. When he shot him six times. Pop, 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 pop. He left to do this and then went back and kicked him. Boom, nigga, it died then. It died then. But they put a mural up for King Von. Ain't nobody picked up the marathon. Ain't nobody did what Nip did in his community, but these niggas don't need podcasts talking. So the main thing that he wanted to do was tell the people the truth and give it to him, if, even if he had to give it to him raw, and even if he had to like lose his life behind it, I'm gonna give it to y'all. I'm gonna let y'all see what this mean. You know, and, and everybody need to know this. And, and, and this is something that he said in one of his reps. Nip could have left. He did not have to be over here inside the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Nip did enough and had enough to leave. But like on his song, he said that go against his vows. He didn't want to leave us. Mm -hmm. He didn't want to leave you, brother. So he said, if I, got to, if I got to die right here to wake us all up, then so be it. Oh, while we on topic, let's get to it. You feel me? Nipsey Hussle, man. Come on, man. Nipsey Hussle made a promise to the hood and his people behind, even if it meant losing his life. I want to, you know, 2023 ending, it's a wrap up. I do want to salute, you know what I'm saying, Nipsey Hussle. His death is finally coming to a closing for me, I would say so. Like, that was a hard death for the niggas at one point. You feel me? That was hard for, for people to even, even fathom that, you know, Nipsey Hussle got killed in his own hood, you feel me, at his own place of business, at his own store. He wanted to buy back his block, buy back property, employ his people. You know what I'm saying? That shit was kind of whack and fucked up for Nipsey to get killed in his own neighborhood. I just think that was a moment. Like, it was a teaching moment for everybody. Should people want to leave their hood? I think so, bro. Because the hood don't really be loving you, you feel me? The hood be jealous. Everybody be envious of what you got. People don't want to see you make it out. People don't want to see you go up. People don't want to, don't want to, don't want to, don't want to. It's like, nigga, you made it out. We really don't want to see. We might clap for you, give you a couple fake handshakes and some fake daps. But we really don't want to see that shit. You feel me? Because it's like, what you did that I ain't do. Why you did that, but I did. But like we reading on the caption, if Nipsey Hussle made that, that vow to himself that he wanted to, you know, be for his people, never leave his hood, employ his people, even if that meant losing his life, that's the way the man want to, you know, live his life. I just ask, what about your family? You know what I'm saying? I get all the, pro, you know, pro-black each other, black people, black people, black people stick together, whatever, whatever. Take this with a grain of salt for me, y'all. I'm not with all that Black Lives Matter shit. Because when I look around, the only people who ever really did something to me or hurt me was black people. Niggas kill niggas. Like Gay say, niggas kill niggas. Niggas rob niggas. Niggas steal from niggas. Niggas hurt niggas. I ain't with all that pro-black shit. My own people tear me down. Every day I wake up, my own people trying to tear me down, tear my dreams, tear my hopes and dreams down. I ain't with that shit. You feel me? I woke up and I grew up from all that old Black Lives Matter, let's stick together. Because us that really stick each other, bro, they don't, they don't, man, they don't. Come on, man. We don't got to really get into it. I ain't going to say fuck Black Lives Matter. Because black lives do matter, bro. Niggas kill niggas. Niggas jack niggas. Niggas rob niggas. We always got something to say about the white man, but the white man ain't did nothing to me. Now, it was something going on. I think Charleston White, he had said, he said um, Nipsey Hussle Marathon ended when Nipsey Hussle lost his life. Then we're going to play the clip. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about that. As long as Nipsey Hussle been dead, ain't now a nigga picked up the marathon. R.I.P. Nip. R.I.P. Nip. Eric Holder still alive. 
Eric Holder still alive? Eric Holder still alive? But they praising King Von. See, they love King Von, but ain't nobody picked up the marathon. Ah, say, 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 can I say, can I say it again? They love King Von, but ain't nobody picked up the marathon. The marathon died when Nip died. When, when Nipsey Hussle kicked him in the head. I'm sorry. When, when, when Shitty Cuz kicked him in the head. When he shot him six times. Pop, 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 pop. He left to do this and then went back and kicked him. Boom, oh, nigga, it died then. It died then. But they put a mural up for King Von. Ain't nobody picked up the marathon. Ain't nobody did what Nip did in his community, but these niggas don't need podcasts talking. Me? I'm just giving my opinion. I'm just the messenger. I want to say the marathon ended when Nipsey Hussle lost his life because there's people out here still like me who still bump his music, take inspiration from his music, want to help their people, want to be for their people. So how could the marathon end, you know what I'm saying, when he inspired so many people? You can't change the world. But he might can influence the next beautiful mind that changed the world. So I look at shit like that myself. Like, <clears throat> did the marathon die? No. They still selling clothes. Black Sam still running the business. You feel me? He still got kids that ain't heard his shit. They still have business. Nipsey Hussle do still have an estate. He does have an impact on the world. You know what I'm saying? So the marathon obviously still going. Now, what, what went viral, too, they were saying, like, Nipsey's, Nipsey wasn't a legend. Me, I've always said that I was one of them people that was a little bit late to Nipsey Hustle or late on Nipsey Hustle, but I still was able to be on the wave before a lot of people was on the wave. You feel me? So I got to listen to Nipsey Hustle way, Crenshaw Money, you know what I'm saying? Crenshaw, the Crenshaw album, Mailbox Money. I got to listen to all that shit before Nipsey Hustle was like a super popular nigga. You know what I'm saying? Before the world, the world. But for a nigga to be having a store with no real social media presence at that time, and you got a store selling out merch, you got lines wrapped around the building of your complex and shit like that. Bro, that's some legendary shit. Y'all show me right now. Can you wake up and fucking have a line wrapped around your house, let alone a store that you own? How ain't he a legend? Now, if you going by statistics and the way he dropped music or, or album sales and all of that type of shit, I guess so. But he is also the same artist who was selling a what, a album or a project for what, a thousand dollars or a hundred dollars? Jay-Z bought a thousand of them. That's some legendary shit, bro. A lot of these artists, you know what I'm saying? Not throwing shade, but a lot of these artists we watch now, they don't even have merch that we would buy for a hundred dollars. So how how wasn't he a legend? The accolade of being a West Coast legend. You feel me? Come on, man. Nipsey put on for the whole West Coast. You feel me? And his people. So shit. In my eyes, Nipsey a fucking legend. I just think that'd be social media commentators who don't really listen to certain people's music or their message or watch their interviews or know the impact. That's going to say and downplay that a nigga not a legend. My man, bro, legend. You feel me? However, shit, did it get cut? Sure, for sure. Shit, should. Would he be bigger now if he still was live? You fucking alive? You fucking right. That shit would be huge. This nigga still did get nominated for a Grammy. He still did sell albums. He still did go on tour. He do still got fans. He do still sell merch and got a business and a whole mind state and culture that he helped influence and impact. Bro, a legend in my eyes, you feel me? But Nipsey Hussle made a promise to never leave the people, never leave the hood and his people behind, even if it meant losing his life. Somebody said, but the marathon did not continue from not a person using his name for click store looking like the motherfucking trap. Facts. Y'all let me know, was Nipsey Hussle a legend?
<laughs> or is Nipsey Hussle a legend? Y'all let me know in the comments. I'm just the messenger, a nigga, a legend. So the main thing that he wanted to do was tell the people the truth and give it to him, if, even if he had to give it to him wrong, and even if he had to like lose his life behind it, I'm gonna give it to y'all. I'm gonna let y'all see what this mean, you know? And, and everybody need to know this. And, and, and this is something that he said in one of his raps. Nip could have left. He did not have to be over here inside the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Nip did enough and had enough to leave. But like on his song, he said that go against his vows. He didn't want to leave us. Mm -hmm. He didn't want to leave you, brother. So he said, if I, got to, if I got to die right here to wake us all up, then so be it. Just tell the people the truth and give it to him, if, even if he had to give it to him wrong, and even if he had to like lose his life behind it, I'ma give it to y'all. I'ma let y'all see what this mean, you know? And, and everybody need to know this. And, and, and this is something that he said in one of his raps. Nip could have left. He did not have to be over here inside the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. Nip did enough and had enough to leave. But like on his song, he said that go against his vows. He didn't want to leave us. He didn't want to leave you, brother. So he said, if I got to, if I got to die right here to wake us all up, then so be it. Hmm. This is how I view that whole hood shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm from that shit. I love the hood. I love I used to love and love my people so much that I didn't want to leave certain people behind and stuff like that. But Bro, the fact of the matter is, bro, you can't save everybody. You can't save the hood, bro. Dr. Umar said out his own mouth and a lot of people champion Dr. bro. In order to, you know what I'm saying, help save the next generation or help save the community, you got to put some of these people to sleep. I don't agree with the put some of the kids to sleep, but they so far gone. They not trying to help the community. They not trying to help their people. He was for his people. He was for his neighborhood. And I, I want to prayers up to the Nipsey Hustle, and, you know, back to the dead. But he ain't deserved that. His family ain't deserved that. So me and my message is, man, feed your people with a long handle spoon. And that's even dangerous. You feel me? You got to watch who you show love to because that love will get you killed. But his death did wake a lot of people up. And we got to, you know, tip our hat off to him. You feel me? But these people that's getting took out. That's, that's really legends in their community and they hood and they feed, feed and give back to their people. They're not being replaced as easy as they being born. So when it comes to the hood shit and the hood politics, bro, I just feel like a lot of that shit is dumb now. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather stick by myself. You want to call me fake, say I turned my back on the hood, say I did this, say I did that, man, go right ahead and say it. But we watching legendary people Legends in their community, stoic, historic figures being taken out in a matter of seconds. And it's on camera now. We're in the camera digital technology age. So for us to even see that, it's a, it's a huge lesson for us to wake up and see. So that's my take on it, man. I'm just a messenger. I, I don't want to die for a hood that I want to save. Period. Shout out and rest in peace, Nipsey. Also, the marathon continues, though, man.